Welcome back to Sharingan Society. In this extensive theory, we explore the captivating world of Baruto, Naruto Next Generations and delve into a chilling possibility that arises after the events of Chapter 81 in the manga. We analyze the theory that Kawaki, driven by his quest for power, may consider sacrificing Baruto by feeding him to the God Tree. Join us on this deep dive as we unravel the history of the God Tree, examine Kawaki's motivations, and speculate on the consequences of this sinister plan. Prepare for an in-depth exploration of Baruto's storyline as we unlock the secrets behind this shocking theory. The history and significance of the God Tree within the Naruto universe are fundamental to understanding its role and impact on the story. The origins of the God Tree can be traced back to Kagaya Atsutsuki, a legendary figure who consumed its fruit, marking the birth of the shinobi world. Kagaya's consumption of the God Tree's fruit granted her immense power, chakra manipulation abilities, and ultimately led to the creation of the Ten Tails, a powerful and destructive entity. The God Tree itself became a symbol of the cycle of life and death, representing the natural order and the balance of power within the Naruto universe. Delving into the mythology surrounding the God Tree, we explore its connection to Chakra and the abilities it bestows upon those who come into contact with it. Chakra, the life energy that flows through all living beings, is closely intertwined with the God Tree. Those who possess a strong connection to Chakra can tap into the immense power stored within the God Tree, granting them enhanced abilities and heightened senses. This power upgrade can include increased physical strength, speed, and the potential to manipulate chakra in unique ways. Furthermore, we examine the cultural and symbolic significance of the God Tree within the Naruto universe. The God Tree represents the delicate balance of power and the consequences of tampering with its energy. It serves as a cautionary symbol, highlighting the dangers of unchecked ambition and the potential for great destruction when one seeks to harness its power without regard for the consequences. The God Tree also embodies the cycle of life and death, as its consumption by Kagaya led to her eventual demise and the birth of new generations of shinobi. To fully comprehend Kawaki's motivations and the factors that drive him to consider such a sinister act, we must explore his character development and the journey he has undertaken. Kawaki's past is filled with trauma and hardship, shaping his worldview and pushing him towards a dark path. His abusive upbringing at the hands of his adoptive father, Jigen, and his subsequent involvement with the Kara organization have left deep emotional scars. We delve into Kawaki's search for power, acceptance, and identity, examining how these factors contribute to his decision to sacrifice Baruto. As someone who has felt powerless and insignificant for most of his life, Kawaki yearns to obtain the strength necessary to protect those he cares about and assert his own agency in a world that has shown him little kindness. This desire for power, combined with his complex relationship with Baruto, plays a significant role in his decision to take such drastic measures. The dynamic between Kawaki and Baruto is multifaceted and influences Kawaki's actions. Despite their initial animosity, the two develop a bond over time, forged through shared experiences and understanding. However, this bond is not without conflict and moments of tension, which can impact Kawaki's decision-making process. By examining the intricate dynamics between Kawaki and Baruto, we gain insights into the motivations behind Kawaki's chilling plan. Throughout the Baruto series, there are numerous instances of foreshadowing and symbolism that hint at the possibility of Kawaki feeding Baruto to the God Tree. These subtle indications are carefully woven into the narrative, providing hints and clues for attentive viewers and readers. One of the notable examples of foreshadowing is the presence of prophetic dreams and visions experienced by both Baruto and Kawaki. These dreams often contain cryptic imagery and symbolism that foreshadow future events. By carefully analyzing these dreams, we can decipher the hidden messages they convey, shedding light on the potential fate that awaits Baruto. Additionally, we explore the symbolic significance of the God Tree and its association with power, sacrifice, and rebirth. The God Tree represents the allure of power and the sacrifices one must make to attain it. Its consumption requires the sacrifice of others, illustrating the brutal reality of pursuing power at any cost. This symbolism sets the stage for Kawaki's contemplation of sacrificing Baruto, 
highlighting the dire consequences such an act entails. By connecting the dots between foreshadowing moments and deciphering the underlying symbolism, we paint a clearer picture of the unsettling path that Kawaki and Baruto may be destined to tread. In this section, we delve deep into the motivations behind Kawaki's plan to sacrifice Baruto and the potential consequences it may have on the story. Kawaki's desperate pursuit of power stems from his desire to protect those he cares about and his underlying fear of losing them. As he witnesses the threats and dangers that continue to loom over the shinobi world, he becomes increasingly willing to go to extreme lengths to ensure the safety of his loved ones. However, the decision to sacrifice Baruto is not one that Kawaki takes lightly. He is faced with moral and ethical dilemmas, torn between the desire to protect and the understanding that his actions will have far-reaching consequences. We explore the internal struggles Kawaki faces as he grapples with the weight of his choices and the potential fallout they may bring. Furthermore, we examine the potential consequences of Kawaki's act, both for his own character development and for the broader narrative of Baruto. Sacrificing Baruto would undoubtedly reshape Kawaki's identity and journey, forcing him to confront the consequences of his actions and potentially leading to his redemption or further descent into darkness. The ripple effects of this sacrifice would also reverberate throughout the overarching storyline. The power dynamics within the world of Baruto would undergo a significant shift, as the loss of Baruto, a key player, would leave a void that others must fill. The emotional impact on characters such as Naruto, Sarada, and Mitsuki would be profound, shaping their perceptions of Kawaki and their own paths moving forward. Additionally, we consider the trajectory of the Baruto narrative itself, examining how this sacrifice would affect the ongoing conflicts with the Atsutsuki clan, the fate of the shinobi world, and the ultimate resolution of the story. The sacrifice of Baruto could serve as a turning point, propelling the narrative into darker and more complex territories, challenging the beliefs and motivations of the remaining characters. In this final section, we engage in speculation and theorizing about the potential outcomes of Kawaki's plan and the broader implications for the Baruto narrative. We explore various scenarios, considering alternative paths the story might take and the impact they would have on the character's growth and development. We discuss the possibility of intervention by other key players, such as Naruto, Sasuke, and the rest of Team 7. Their actions and choices could potentially alter the course of events, either by preventing the sacrifice or by dealing with the aftermath. We theorize on the potential resolutions, exploring themes of sacrifice, redemption, and the nature of power. Furthermore, we take into account the broader narrative arcs, such as the conflict with the Atsutsuki clan and the fate of the shinobi world. We speculate on how Kawaki's sacrifice of Baruto may tie into these overarching storylines, potentially leading to a convergence of multiple plot threads and the emergence of new challenges for the remaining characters. By thoroughly examining and speculating on the possible outcomes, we paint a vivid and thought-provoking picture of the unpredictable future that awaits our beloved characters. In conclusion, the theory of Kawaki feeding Baruto to the God Tree presents a dark and chilling possibility in the world of Baruto, Naruto Next Generations. Through an in-depth analysis of the history and significance of the God Tree, Kawaki's character development, foreshadowing in symbolism, motivations and consequences, and speculative outcomes, we have uncovered the layers of this theory. However, it is important to note that this theory remains speculative and is based on the events of Chapter 81 and prior. As fans eagerly await future chapters and episodes, only time will reveal the true path the story will take. Feel free to share your thoughts and theories on this theory in the comments section below and stay tuned to Sharingan Society for more captivating discussions and analyses of the Baruto universe. Thank you for joining us on this exhilarating journey as we unlock the secrets within Baruto, Naruto Next Generations.